Welcome to the Sparks of Hope Shooting for Success Summit. You will discover innovative talks for personal and business expansion with leading experts. Today, be ready to be infused with hope, strength, and confidence and find powerful direction to lead you on a path of success. Join our 21 world-class speakers and experience inspiration, hope for your future, and an elevation of your desires. Inspired Choices Network, our summit hosts, are excited to have you here. Hi, everyone. I am literally bouncing in my chair. My body and I are so excited to talk to you. Um, I'm Danielle. I'm an empowerment intuitive wellness coach. What does that mean? It means I talk to you, I talk to your bodies and the universe and everything, and we all have a good time, okay? I have worked with thousands of people with their bodies, body image, energy, and so much more. And one of the common threads I hear a lot is, I wish I knew what my body was saying to me. Body, will you freaking talk to me, please? Well, what if your body is actually talking to you? Okay, it's one of my favorite things to talk about is body communication. Let me back up for a minute. I have a question for you. Do you have a body? I know that seems like a simple answer. I'm like, yeah, hello. But you might be, you might laugh. But for some people, it's a surprise. It was for me. And what's interesting about this is my mother was a nutritionist and she did a health talk radio show for 27 years. And I produced it with her. I was on it with her. I ran the board for her. So I, I heard this about bodies for 27 years every Saturday, right? And it wasn't until I got to the energetics of the universe and energy of the body that I fully realized I had a body. I was clothing it, feeding it, but never really connecting with it. And that's kind of what I'm talking about is like, we know we have a body, we can touch it. But do you know you have a body, a body that desires to communicate with you, contribute to you and help you create the life that you're actually desiring? Okay, so I started about 16 years ago, I started taking these classes on energetics and I heard this just like, well, what if your body has a consciousness of its own? And I went, <laughs> what body? <laughs> and then and then it's like, they went on, it's like, no, what if your body has a consciousness of its own? And I'm like, um, no, my body's just this thing that I have to take care of. And so I sat with it one day. I lowered my barriers. I physically connected to my body, just like put my hands on my chest. And I just said, hi, body. And I would love to say that, you know, everything changed, the heavens opened and the angels sang, but honestly, I felt like an idiot. <laughs> like, I'm in my office alone talking to my body, this inanimate object. I'm like, what, what am I doing? So I, I, did. I felt like an idiot. But I use some tools, I change the energy, and then I tried it again. I'm like, okay, I'm like, hi, body. And the most interesting thing occurred after that is I not only could feel the body, like I feel it here, but I started to perceive my body, get the energy of it, the warmth, the motion, the flow, the energy, and the nurturing and the vibrance. And I was just like, oh, I have a body. And that for me was a game changer, okay? Because I was like, oh, what have I been ignoring all these years, okay? Because my next question for you is, do you know that your body communicates to you, okay? You're like, well, yes, I know when my body's in pain. I know when my I, body needs food, I hunger pain, my stomach growls. And um, most people go to pain and hunger as the body's only way of communicating to you, okay? But what if I tell you that's just the tip of the iceberg, right? Because so many people, when I talk about body communication, um, you research it, right? You look on the internet, it says body communication, it talks about hunger, it talks about pain and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, there's so much more that your body can give you information about, okay? So most people, like I said, most people try to just scream at their body, 
right? Every day we try to control it. That's what I've learned in all my years with health and nutrition was like, dominate your body, tell your body what it's supposed to do, how it's supposed to react and what it's supposed to be like, control it. How much has that actually worked for any of us? <laughs> Not a lot. I mean, do you like to be controlled? Well, no. So why would a body that you create like to be controlled also? Okay. So I'm here to offer you a hope of something different. Okay. And the hope is working with your body and creating a life and body that you would like to wake up to every day. Okay. Let me say that again a life and a body that you would love to wake up to every day. Because how many of us, when we first wake up in the morning, we go, oh, crap. Or, oh, I'm starting to feel stiff. Or, oh, I shouldn't have eaten that last night. Or played with that or done that or whatever, right? We wake up with this judgments. But what would it be like to wake up in the morning and go, woohoo, today. I'm excited to wake up. I'm excited to be here. Can't wait to see what the day creates, what, what the universe has for me, okay? So in this, let me tell you, your body has a consciousness of its own. What does that look like? People ask me that all the time. They're like, well, what does that look like? I'm like, don't worry. It's not zombies. It's not like your body's going to get up and walk away from you. What it is, is do the plants and animals have a consciousness of their own? Yeah. Does the planet Earth, our beautiful Earth, does it have a consciousness of its own? Well, yeah. And so here are our bodies, right? Made up of the same elements, the same nutrients. We find it on the periodic table of elements. Why would your body, it made of the same elements, not also have a consciousness of its own, okay? You are the spark, right? You pull these things together. I could get into the quantum elements of it, but it's like, you are that spark, you the infinite being, your soul, your spirit, and you go, I'm gonna have a body. So you pull this mass of energy together and this energy presents as a physical of the body that isn't that physical. That's a little beyond the scope of today's talk, but just, you know, to kind of drop that seed in there. And so you put this, you put this body together, okay? What if your body is that creation partner that you've been looking for? What if your body is a tool to thrive in this reality, right? I was taught, I was um, raised in a very religious um, childhood, and I was taught that a body was something to suffer through to get to heaven. What if that's one of the biggest lies we've ever been taught, okay? Why would we come down here and automatically put ourselves at a defect, at a, a behind the odds? Why wouldn't we come down here, have some fun, and actually give ourselves the tools to thrive. For me, that's our body, because our body is this amazing source of information, okay? And a lot of people just think pain and hunger, and that is a very loud way that your body does communicate to you, but it's not the only way that your body communicates to you, okay? Your body can give you information um, with physical sensations. Your body can give you information with words, with pictures, with all of this amazing stuff, it's really interesting all the different ways that your body can communicate to you, okay? And this communication is something that we innately be, okay? A lot of people that I've worked with, they'd be like, okay, I'm going to start communicating with my body. And it feels funny. It feels weird. It doesn't quite make sense. And then, but their energies go on. They're like, I'm determined. I'm going to do this. I'm going to change this. So I am going to start communicating with my body and then give it a day or two, maybe. And then it starts feeling weird. It starts like the energy starts to like droop. You want me to tell you why? Because this happens all over the place. I'll tell you why. You can't start something you're already being and doing. Okay. You're already communicating with your body. Because truth, do you know when you need to pee? I know, a little irreverent, but do you know when you need to pee? Yeah, that is successful communication with your body. Do you know when your nose itches? Yeah, that is successful communication with your body. We go to this place where successful communication with your body has to be this heavens open, angels sing, 
changes my universe. But to really build this communication with your body, you need to start with the everyday acknowledgements. Start with the things that is like, that is undeniable successful communication with, with your body, okay? I talk a lot with my hands. I move my rings from one hand to the other. All of this is successful, successful communication with your body, okay? So one of the things I highly suggest to you is don't start communication with your body. You're already doing it, okay? What it is, is you want to open up to the different ways your body can communicate to you. And you want to acknowledge all those different ways every day so that you can strengthen the muscle. Because that's what we're doing. We're not starting. You're strengthening. You're strengthening that muscle of communication with your body. Okay? So why should you listen to your body? Because I get that a lot. People are like, I don't want one more thing telling me what to do. I get it. I don't like to be told what to do either. So why should we even listen to our body? Okay, well, besides the fact that you listen to your body and so if you give your body what it's asking for in food and movement and sexual partners, in jobs and in, in clothing and whatever else, you might just be happier and feel better <laughs> because you're not at odds with your body. So there's always that aspect to it. But there's also the... Um, as I said earlier, your body will give you information, not just about you and your body, but about the universe itself, okay? And your body doesn't have the filters and the judgment like we do. I know we all, we like to think we don't judge, but we do, right? Occasionally we do. And so our body is willing to look at the universe with no judgment, no filters, and give you information about anything and everything out there, okay? As I asked you earlier, what if your body is the creation partner that you've always been looking for? Okay, just how does that feel in your world? How does that sit? It's like, for me, when I first when I first said that, I was like, oh, I'm not alone. I thought I was alone, but no, look here, I have this amazing body, okay? And so um, your body will give you information about so much okay and you know this is there's a a huge huge topic but some of the highlights your body will give you information about you the infinite being your body will give you information about it your body will give you information about the universe the planet earth do you know when an earthquake's going to happen does your body feel funny and then an earthquake happens and you feel better it's because your body's telling you okay your body will give you information about other people's bodies your body will give you information about other infinite beings, other spirits, other souls, other entities, okay? Oh, and entities, disembodied spirits, ghosts. Your body can give you information about that as well. Your body can give you information about the secrets of the universe. It's amazing what my body has whispered to me since I started really listening to it and first acknowledging that I had it and then really listening to it. And it's also my creation partner with my business when I'm choosing venues, when I am choosing who to host me, I, I invite the information from my body. Because have you ever felt like somebody may be lying to you? Well, sometimes that information is coming to you from your body, okay? So, and like I said, it can give you from a tingling sensation. Some people see things, some people hear things, some people look at words. There's so many different ways that your body can communicate to you, okay? But one thing I really want to um, point out in this and share with you today is because some of you may be going, I know, I talk to my body all the time and hallelujah, celebrate that great and allow that muscle to grow because it never stops being strengthened, okay? There's always new ways to discover of communicating with your body and new information to be shared and received from your body, okay? So then I have another question for you. Do you work with your body? Or do you try to do things for your body, okay? That's a big thing, with your body or for your body. Let me give you a quick story, okay? Because what happens is I see a lot of people will ask their body a question, body, what would you like to eat? Body, can we do this? Body, uh, what diet plan would you like to do? All that kind of stuff. And then they shove their body out of the way. What do I mean by that? Well, a number of years ago, I honestly can't remember, might be close to 10. We'll see. I I was getting ready for a presentation like this, right? I was 
I was on a teleseries and um, my niece who was living with me comes running in and she's like, oh my gosh, I am stuck in the snow. I can't leave, I need to get to work. And I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, let's get you out of snow, uh, out of the snow. So I go out there and I'm like, okay, right, bodies are included, <laughs> bodies are included in pushing a car out of the snow. And so I said, I asked my body, I'm like, okay, body, can we do this? Can we push this car out of the snow or do we need to go get help? And my body's like, no, we can do it. I'm like, okay, cool, here I go. And then I started shoving, it didn't come out. Shoving, didn't come out. I'm like, oh, I got frustrated, I got mad at my body. Anybody else ever do that, right? So I'm like, ah, oh, body, you said we could do this. And my body's like, yes, we can. I'm like, okay, great, here I go. Shove, 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 nothing. I tried all the tricks. I tried the kitty litter, the cardboard, the wood, the rocks, the whatever underneath the tires, trying to, those of you who live in the snow, know the plight, um, to get this out of the snow bank, right? And uh, it wasn't working. And I just kept getting more mad at my body because I'm like, body, you said we could do this. My peaceful, amazing, brilliant, calm body just went, yes, we can. And for that time I heard it, yes, we can. And I went, oh crap, because I was like, body, can we do this? The body said, yes, we can. And then I said, here I go. I tried to do it for my body instead of with my body, okay? And so as soon as I went, oh crap, sorry body, here we go. I shoved it right out, came out. Okay, it was amazing. It was it was easy. And I'm like, oh, that's a big difference. Because how many of us ask your body, body, what would it take for you to lose weight? And then your body goes, do this. And it's like, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that for you. Right. We may not say the words for you, but the energy is there of like, I'm going to do it for you, body. Yay. And your body's like, dude, I was just there to help you. You're shoving me to the side. We're a team, we can do this together, especially when it involves me being the body, right? I've seen so many people do that. We just shove it aside. Yes, we can, but you have to include your body in that energy. So how many times have you asked your body, body, can we do this? And then instead of doing it with your body, you try to do it for your body. And I think that comes from an innate sense that we be this we want to take care of people or do things or be of service, right? It's like, you know, we can be fun people and like that, but it's like, how often do we try to do that for our body instead of with our body? So <laughs> one of the things I'm going to encourage you to do, I always like actions to take because I'm a big, you know, we can talk about it a lot. We can move the energy and then action is required, right? How much action are we uh, not doing or can we do to create our lives and our bodies? Okay. So one of the things I would love to see is first acknowledge you have a body. <laughs> Again, I know it lasts, but you'd be you would be surprised at the number of people I facilitated and I've been like, hey, do you have a body? And they're like, yes, wait a minute. Yes. And they have to think about it. Okay. And so one of the first things I encourage you to do, whether you've been talking to your body for your whole life, or you've been talking to your body for five minutes or 25 minutes, or however long we've been on, take a moment, be somewhere that's nurturing to you and your body. It could be your office. It could be outside. It could be wherever it is, just somewhere for like five minutes that you won't be interrupted. Take that moment, lower your barriers, make a physical connection to your body, hands on your face, hands on your heart, hands on your lap, give yourself a hug, whatever it is, just make that physical connection with your body, clear all judgments you have, and just say hi to your body, and then be present, sit there, wait, be present with your body. And if you feel like an idiot like I did, don't worry about it. Just give it a moment. Clear the energy. You know, I like clear the energy by shaking the butt. You know, <laughs> whatever works for you. And just change that energy. Turn those molecules. And just be present with your body. Say hi to your body. And then allow your body to say hi to you. And this is the place where I see some people contract. Simply because 
they're afraid of what their body is going to say well let me tell you straight your body does not judge you we judge our body but your body does not judge you okay so allow your body to say hi to you just you say hi to your body allow your body to say hi to you and just start to build that awareness of each other because your body is like hi infinite being i'm here thank you for creating me and i can't wait to contribute to you and we're like okay but here's the stipulations but we don't have to do that or just allow your body to communicate to you okay and just see what it has to say spoiler alert most of the time your body is just like Thank you, body, or thank you, infinite being for listening. I'm so grateful. It's amazing. And just this, my friends, can change your life. Just allowing your body to give you information beyond pain, beyond hunger, opens up the secrets to the universe. It really, really does. Okay. So just, and spend like three, five minutes, you know, you'll know when it's time to shift and change and just build that connection and, and acknowledge that more. Okay. And then the other thing I want, I'm going to invite you to do is for 24 hours or 12 hours, at least a waking hour, acknowledge every successful communication with your body. Okay. I'm telling if it's your nose itches, you know, you have to pee, your body tells you it's hungry. Um, you feel a tingle on your neck and then somebody walks in the room, acknowledge all that successful communication with your body because that builds the foundation when you acknowledge it builds them and strengthens that foundation. So when maybe the whisperings are quieter, you can still hear it. Okay, so please do that. And then the last one, be aware of if you're doing it with your body or for your body. Okay, that for me was a huge game changer. That's why I wanted to talk about it today. We ask our body, it tells us and we try to do it for, it doesn't work. You wanna work with your body, you don't want to do it for your body okay so please be aware and it's an energetic aware you're not always thinking that but just you know check out that energy of like okay body i talked to you and i did this and i'm gonna eat this for you oh crap i'm gonna eat it for you and i'm gonna eat it with you okay just be aware whether you're saying those words out loud or not be aware of that energy are you doing it with your body or are you doing it for your body okay and I can't wait to play with you because this is all just the beginning of the iceberg. You know, body communication is one of my favorite things to talk about because it's so foundational for so much and so fundamental. I said it once, I'll say it again. It opens up the mysteries of the universe and it's the secrets. And so I can't wait to share some of that with you. So if you want to know more, please feel free to go to my website, Danielle.com. Two N's, two L's, <laughs> D-O-N-N-I-E-L-L-E dot com um there's lots of information there and i can't wait to sit there and play with you and i and and i can't wait to see what you create with your body with your body okay like i said i have facilitated so many people over the years and it's brilliant and it's amazing to see what gets created for your life when you actually include your body okay i spent I, i'm not even kidding i spent the first 30 years going, I don't have a body. I don't know what you're talking about. Even though I was with my mom talking about bodies and health and nutrition for almost three decades. But when you get into this energy and you get into your body being your partner, your creation partner, it's amazing what can be created and revealed and to know that you're not alone. Your body's always there with you. And you'd be interested to see that your body often has the same personality as you cheeky and all that kind of stuff. So please do enjoy your body, acknowledge it, do it with your body and just enjoy that energy. Enjoy that warmth. What if that voice in your head is your body talking to you and inviting you to more? All right. Thanks everyone. I look forward to playing with you somewhere in the future. Enjoy you and your body. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for joining this motivating talk on the Sparks of Hope Shooting for Success Summit. Inspired Choices Network and our expert speakers are excited to connect with you and learn about your hopes and desires to lead you to greater success. If you would like to learn more about everything Inspired Choices Network offers, including future summits, please email us at info at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. 